Hey everybody, um, I know it's been a long time since my last vlog. I have been trying to vlog. Um, I kind of was vlogging randomly. So guys, this is Periscope. This is, yeah, my mom and dad just left. This is Periscope, I'm interacting real time with people. He and my mom went to dinner right now. So, say hi to the vlog. Say what up. I'll try to like focus in on names. Yeah, so anyway. Vlog, 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 vlog. Hi vlog, hi vlog. Alrighty, so this is the damage. They were kind of out of a lot, but we got what we could. Old fashioned glaze, chocolates, sprinkles. Mm. And then some, these two. One more. These are not the fifth wheel tonight, I'm just I'm the third. But I just couldn't finish a vlog. I wasn't, I mean, there were a few different factors. A, I wasn't really doing anything fun or exciting. I mean, I've been working a lot, which I can't really vlog at work. B, um, there's just, I haven't really just been feeling well. There's been a lot going on and um, yeah, just kind of was going through a bit of a rough patch, if you will. So, and I just, I feel like I'm, I like to be a fairly, po I try to be a fairly positive person, especially when I'm vlogging. I, I don't ever wanna put like negativity out in the world. And I know that like being vulnerable and telling people what you're going through isn't negative, but it's just, I'm a private person, so that's just not really what I'm about. So, I kind of just took some time to myself. So, um, yeah. So I've just had some some changes going on and some changes in relationships and um, friendships and all kinds of things. So, but I'm feeling better. I realize I'm like not making any eye contact with you guys. I'm sorry. Um, can you tell that I don't like talking about serious things? But yeah, it is Monday. It is a gorgeous Monday. I have to, I'm not working today, but I do have to go to the Fox lot, to Fox Studios and um, do a walkthrough for a new show that we're gonna be doing, um, I think in a week or so. So I'm gonna go out there, but I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go to the bank first, and then we'll see what time I get out of there. I might go run on the beach, but we'll see. It is such a beautiful Monday. I don't know if you guys can, I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru, I don't know if you guys can hear the birds chirping, but there is literally not a cloud in the sky. And the birds are chirping and yeah it's just beautiful it's a light breeze hi welcome to starbucks how are you doing today i'm good how are you i need a good thing for us what can i get for you can i please get a grande iced vanilla latte grande iced vanilla latte okay yes please and Anything that is else? it that is it all right perfect i'll see you at that window Thank thanks you. And it is 82, so it's just nice to get something iced. Nice to do some ice. Let's see here. I was trying to like buy new music this morning so that I would have some new tunes to listen to in the car. And you know what I actually did a lot of this morning? Um, I got up and I was just like reading the Bible and I was praying and I was just doing a lot of, you know, my me time if you will and I actually downloaded a lot of podcasts from people who are motivational speakers and life coaches and um, yeah because I do drive a lot a lot yeah so I was like why not when you're in the car listen to something that's gonna make you feel better about yourself because you constantly have um, like an inner dialogue going on and I think there's like a statistic that like 85% of the time or something it's like negative oh, which is terrible so I was like, well, shoot. Can you guys tell my hair is getting longer again? Slowly but surely. 20% off. Oh, cool, thanks. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. So this behind me is Fox Studios. They do tons of stuff here. And yeah, that's about it. Nothing too exciting. I just figured I would show you where they make movies. So we're gonna turn this down. So I came home for just a minute and now I'm running to the grocery store to get a couple things to make for dinner. So 
I think it's like 87 right now, so it's actually pretty warm. But I want pasta. So I'm going to the store because I'm going to make my favorite, favorite pasta dish. It is with angel hair pasta. And it's really, the sauce is super, super simple. Um, and it's delicious. It's like white wine, fresh tomatoes, onion, lots of herbs. Um, and you just kind of let it simmer and it's oh, so delicious. It's just super fresh. You know like when something is just so fresh you feel like you're eating everything in its purest form. It's so delicious. I'm like salivating right now. But anyways, um, so I've been on Periscope for a little while now and I am just like obsessed with it. I don't get to go on as much as I did in the beginning, but I freaking love it. If you've not seen me on Periscope, download the app and like you can tune in and we can like talk in real time. It's the best thing ever. Um, but everyone's been saying like, oh, you should Periscope your cooking. Like whenever you cook something, you should Periscope it. And I was like, oh, that's a really good idea. But I've just like, I haven't done it yet. So maybe tonight when I'm making this, I will periscope and as well as vlog like kind of how to make this my favorite pasta dish. So I don't know, that's what I'm gonna do. Grocery store, here I come. So we're back home and I have my little assembly line of food, onion, garlic. I didn't have white wine, so this is cooking sherry. And then this is Italian seasoning, basil, salt, pepper. And then you can either dice your own tomatoes or if you want to save some time and energy, diced, pre-done, pre-made, no judgment. So now, I'm just heating up some oil, just a little bit of olive oil, and then we're going to add the onion and brown it, and then we're going to add the garlic, and there's nothing like the smell of onion and garlic, let me tell you. Do this into that sizzle. We're gonna let the onion get nice and translucent. And I wouldn't say golden brown because you don't want it to burn. You just want it to cook down in the oil a little bit before you put your garlic in. I'm sure you guys can hear the storm in the background. I'm not going out there. What's all the noise? She wants Deb to go outside. I'm not going outside. What? You're making quite a ruckus. Come here. What do you... What's up? You wanna go outside? You wanna go play? You wanna play with the laser? She loves the laser. So it's been maybe two to three minutes on like medium heat. And you can kind of see that the onions, the lighting sucks in here. You can kind of see the onions aren't Eh, whatever. They're not white. They're kind of more of like a yellow, translucent color. So now that we've swept the onions out, we're gonna add garlic. Gosh, I freaking love garlic. And that's about a clove or so. And we're just gonna do this for like another minute. Garlic cooks really, really fast. Then we don't want it to burn because then it will, everything will taste like burnt garlic. So we're just gonna quickly, oh my God, the smell of garlic. There's like a perfume of garlic and onion, I'd wear it, which is disgusting, but every man would love it too. So now that that is in there and the garlic is nice and cooked, we're gonna add our sherry, as well as our, all of our seasonings. And we're just gonna bring this up to a nice simmer, let it simmer for a few minutes, and then we'll add our tomatoes, bring it to a boil, simmer that, and then it's done. So this is like, the easiest thing ever, but it tastes so freaking good. <clears throat> so now we got a nice little simmer going on. And you just, I'm probably sweating, but hey, that's what happens when you cook. Um, but you just want to let it simmer for a little bit because you kind of want to cook down the alcohol that's in the sherry so that you just have the flavor of the sherry and you don't have that really bitter alcohol taste. I hate to drink. Alrighty, so this has been going for like maybe five minutes or so, and it's cooked down very nicely. So now we're just gonna add in our tomatoes. Give this a nice stir. 
So like I was saying with the sherry, it's the same thing if you have white wine. Um, you want to cook it down a little bit. Got to cook that alcohol down. So we'll mix this all up. Bring it to a boil. I'll simmer it for a few minutes. And in the meantime, once this starts to simmer, I'm going to start my pasta. And if you're making pasta, just have a pot ready to go with like semi-boiling water because we all know how annoying it is to like wait for the pot to boil to make the pasta. It's so annoying. Ain't nobody got time for that. So we are simmering now. So I'm just gonna turn this down a little bit just so that it doesn't start boiling. It just simmers like this. And I'm gonna let it just kind of marinate together until our pasta's done. So my water is about ready. It's just obviously water with a little bit of salt in it. Fun fact for you science lovers like myself, salt, it, well it flavors the pasta, but it also, the sodium chloride breaks the hydrogen bonds and it causes it to boil faster. So if you want flavored water or like flavored pasta, we all love salt, right? Um, yeah, if you want flavored pasta and if you want your water to boil faster, Put a little, put a little dash of salt in there. Fun fact. Ooh. Look at that craziness. Look at this nonsense. This is why my mom breaks it, but I like long pasta. I really like long pasta. But anyways, I'm just gonna cook this according to the directions on the package. Which I think is about five minutes and then our dinner will be complete so this was like super simple right this took like a grand total of maybe 15 minutes start to finish and it's fresh and it's super healthy and then yeah our pasta will be done in just a couple minutes so if you need a quick dinner idea this is an impressive one I mean I feel like it is it looks really pretty in the end you'll see yeah baby Mom, I won't put the camera on you, but am I a good cook? Do not put the camera on me, and you are an amazing cook. I'm not putting the camera on you. Oh, yeah. No, you are an amazing cook. You can cook to me anytime. Thanks, Mom. Everything and where did I learn it from? You actually have a gift all your own. I don't... I think you're a better cook than I am. Oh, I don't think so. I do. I think you taught me the fundamentals. I think I'm a little bit more creative with you cooking are. in the sense that I'm not bound to a recipe. Unless it's baking, that's chemistry. You have to stay mm -hmm. with the recipe. But I'm one of those that's like a little of this, a little of that, whatever. You have great instincts for cooking. There was the prettiest sunset ever, but I missed it because I was taking pictures on my phone. Whoops. <sighs> but I'm just finishing up my workout. I am exhausted. But, you know, got to get that summer bod in check. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this vlog. I'm going to go take a shower and get into my comfy bathrobe and just relax. I'm so sorry it took me forever to get another vlog up. Forgive me, don't hate me, but I will try to have another one up really soon. So, good night, you guys. Mwah. I love you all. I will see you soon.